You don't have to have a hoop house or greenhouse to start extending your growing season. The easiest way to get started is to simply grow cold hardy crops in the spring and fall and depending on where you live, maybe even the winter. One of my favorite cold hardy crops is mosh or corn salad. Mosh is delicious, nutritious and easy to grow. Here in zone 5 it provides late autumn and early spring harvest when not grown under cover and winter harvest when grown under cover. Today I'll show you how we grow mosh from seed to harvest and I'll share a favorite mosh recipe. Mosh is an annual cool weather leafy green that grows in a low rosette. It grows wild in parts of North America and Europe and is most often cultivated as a crop in France. It can survive winters in zones 5 and higher and temperatures as low as negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Its scientific name is Valerianella locusta. In addition to mosh and corn salad, its common names include lamb's lettuce, feticus, nut lettuce, field salad, and rapunzel. Common varieties grown in gardens are vert de cambre and vit mosh. Just one cup or 56 grams of mosh provides 79% of the daily value of vitamin A and 36% of the daily value of vitamin C, along with other vitamins and minerals. For a spring and early summer harvest, mosh can be directly sown in the garden eight weeks before the last frost or as soon as the ground can be worked. It can be planted again in mid to late summer for a fall and early winter harvest. We grow it mostly under double cover and plant in late summer and early fall for winter and spring harvest. We also let some of our plants go to seed to self-sow the next crop. I'll talk more about that later. Mosh grows best in full sun or partial shade and prefers soil that is slightly acidic to neutral. It has moderate nutrient requirements and does very well in our garden when planted with a little compost or vermicompost, but no additional fertilizer. We usually get our seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds or Johnny's Selected Seeds. I plant the seeds about two inches apart and a quarter inch to a half inch deep. Mosh needs a moderate amount of water and we typically get enough rain here in fall and spring that we don't have to water it much. And we don't water at all in December and January when growing mosh under cover. It's best not to water at all when temperatures are mostly below freezing, there's less than 10 hours of daylight and plants aren't growing much anyway. Watering does more harm than good when it accumulates on leaves and freezes. This can damage plants. The mosh we plant in late summer and early fall and grow under cover in winter is ready for harvest starting in February and ending in late April. We harvest the rosettes when they're about two to four inches wide by cutting them at soil level with scissors. We have to wait a little bit longer for mosh that isn't grown under cover. This mosh is usually ready to harvest in April. If you decide to save seeds, all you have to do is let some of the plants go to seed. After the plants begin to dry out, but before they drop their seeds, Harvest the plants at ground level, put them in a paper bag, and shake the bag to separate the seeds from the plant material. Let the bag sit in a cool, dry, dark location for a few days to dry out, and then separate the seeds from the plants. After that, you want to store the seeds in a dark, dry location. Though it's easy to save mosh seeds, it's even easier to let some plants go to seed, drop their seeds in place to self-sow the next crop. We've been doing this for years and get crops year after year without having to do any work. Though I intentionally planted some mosh late last summer, most of the mosh growing in our garden was self-sown, simply by letting the plants go to seed and drop their seeds in place. For example, here in our blueberry bed, you can see volunteer mosh plants that are ready for harvest. We find volunteer plants like this growing like weeds all over the garden every spring. Mosh relies on insects for cross-pollination, and if you grow multiple varieties, they can cross-pollinate. You can use a technique called alternate day caging to prevent cross-pollination, but that's more trouble than I want to go to. And I've always been very happy with our self-sown mosh and honestly can't tell if they're crossing. Mosh is tender with a mild and nutty flavor. It's not bitter like some greens. We usually eat it raw in salads, sometimes as part of a mixed green salad, but often as a featured green. If you haven't tried mosh before, this mosh with warm brie and apples recipe from Barefoot Contessa is absolutely delicious and a great first recipe to try. I've included a link to this recipe and a number of others in the description below. So if you'd like to grow more food by extending your growing season, 
the easiest way to get started is to simply grow more cold hardy crops in the spring, fall, and maybe the winter depending on where you live. And when thinking about what cold hardy crops to grow, make sure to consider mosh. It's very cold hardy, easy to grow, and delicious. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to.